swarm trap and put it in a five and a ten frame box the problem is is that this swarm trap the bees have built their combs down below the frames and so uh, I don't really necessarily want to do much of a cutout I'm actually gonna put them on the top part of a double deep uh, ten frame box so stick around I'll show you what we're doing here also what I'm gonna do is put another ten frame box on top of this box I'm gonna take those frames and put them in the top box to where their combs will dangle down naturally into this lower box um, so that should be pretty interesting. And then what I'll do, because that's not going to be inspectable, is I'll just let this hive swarm pretty much every year if they want to. Otherwise, I'll put a honey super on top and uh, be able to just kind of use it as a natural hive. So with this box, I just have a uh, screw on lid. Basically, just got to unscrew it here. Now this, uh, this nuke, this swarm trap is loaded. Completely loaded with bees. So I'm gonna put another box on top of this. So what I have, so I've got a double deep 10 frame. Both of them are empty. Here I have a swarm trap that is just packed. They've glued the frame up against the side of the plywood. They're loaded in there. This is a uh, totally foundationless frame, by the way. Let me make sure we can see here. Totally foundationless. Did a beautiful job building it, just perfect. Now this one, I already cut off the comb. There was comb on the bottom. I already cut that off the other day whenever I discovered this issue. So for now, I'm just gonna set these in the other box. So as you can see, I've got a little bit of a problem here. Um, I would hate to have to do a cutout on this. But, like, yeah, I've got eggs on the bottoms, uh, <laughs> the bottom combs. So I really would hate to cut this off. I really think I'm just going to put them in this box. If they swarm every year, great. If they give me honey, some honey, great. They have got it built way down in there, so I gotta see what's gonna happen. I haven't pulled this frame out yet. This will be the first time this frame has come out of this box ever since the uh, swarm moved in. Sorry for the shadow. All right, I gotta look for the queen. Yeah, there's so much brood on this bottom. This bottom set of combs has so much brood that like, I'm not gonna cut that out. Obviously, if I did, I would, I would rubber band it up into a frame. I just don't feel like doing that. I'd rather these things just be a monster and be as natural as possible. Ah, so there she is. All right, let's see. I'm still trying to, okay. All right, there she is. Just absolutely perfect looking hive. I'm gonna go ahead and put them down in their spot. So far, so good. We've got the queen now in this box. I've got two more. No, I actually have three more frames to go.
Oh, sh**. All right, so some of this is cross combed in the bottom. Look at that nice, pretty pollen. No, unfortunately, this thing was um, going a bit at an angle along the bottom and it was torn, so I went ahead and just reached down in there and uh, grabbed it out. I'm actually hearing thunder off in the distance is why I don't know if you can even see my face but it's why I keep on looking that direction I'm hearing thunder across the lake I'm on the south side of a large lake and uh, you can hear thunder a long ways off but it definitely looks a bit dark that direction so as far as keeping bees go as some of you may know beekeeping when there's a storm on the way is usually not too good of an idea these bees are doing all right they're not too mad um, they could stand a little bit of smoke Get my smoker going here again. Oh boy. Nice. All right. So yeah, this one's mainly honey. It's got some brood on this side, but like the bottom part, it's pretty much just food. It's a bunch of uh, uncapped nectar. There's a little bit that's capped. And then this side's the side that got messed up. I think I'm gonna go ahead and rip off this comb. It's just too dangly and weird. There are just a lot of bees in this box. Oh nice, yeah, I've got I've got eggs in every single one of these cells. Uh, these cells down here on the bottom. I've got eggs in all these, and then over here is honey and some, uh, some larva. So now, finally, I'm just gonna put some uh, foundationless frames. If I can get these apart, there we go. Foundationless frames with a paint stick starter strip. This is my signature move here with the paint stick. Happens to fit in the slot perfectly. And uh, you don't even need to fill up the whole distance. They'll just draw it across that gap right there. So we're gonna go one, two, So I hope that wasn't a bad idea. My objective is now, if I want to, I basically can put honey supers on top of this box. They can give me honey if they want. Basically, they can swarm if they want. They're a nice feral hive I got out of San Antonio, so I'm just excited to have them here. I'm just gonna let them do their thing. I'm not really gonna need to inspect them because as long as they live, that's all I care about. I have a lot of bees in this box, so I gotta get those shaken out. These are attacking the camera real good. Basically how you transfer a swarm trap minus the fact mine had combs on the bottom. Stay tuned for more videos, hopefully, if y'all like them. So, quick update on the uh, the white hive here. It's been about a month since that last video was recorded, 
and they've been doing great. In fact, it's probably one of my busier hives. And as the season starts to close down, uh, I will start to narrow down which of these hives I'm going to keep or combine. And uh, here soon, it's gonna end up being winter. I'm not trying to get YouTube famous, but you know, if you do give me a like and subscribe, we can at least get this content out there and start helping beginner beekeepers feel more comfortable in the uh, process of starting up beekeeping. Thanks for checking out my videos. I really do appreciate it. As the season winds down here, it's not gonna be so much bee work anymore, but instead just working on this beautiful homestead of mine. Uh, I've got plenty to do. I've got rainwater collection systems and solar off-grid systems. So I'll keep the videos coming, don't you guys worry. But as spring starts, we're gonna have some really good beekeeping content. Thanks for watching. Usually it's something that moves.